Hello, you are listening to second episode of SME Banking Club podcast series. My name is Olena Grinyuk. I'm manager for CE region at SME Banking Club. And today I'm in Warsaw meeting Krzysztof Pulkiewicz, CEO at BankUp, digital bank for SME customers. Hello, Krzysztof. Thanks for joining me today. Hello, it's a pleasure to be here with you today. Okay, so tell us everything about BankUp. Uh, you are quite young, aren't you? So, have you launched already? And tell us what is what is BankUp and how it is different from traditional banks and from other fintechs. So, the BankUp is a smart fintech bank for small medium business. Um, our goal is to offer small medium businesses the set of tools combining the traditional banking products like a current account, Mastercard. Uh, together with the fintech services, so to give them the ability to use those services in one single place. This is BankUp, and uh, we are uh, targeting the small medium businesses around the European Union. Have you have you launched already, and in which countries? Uh, at this moment, we are in a in a beta phase, so re- in request invite only. Uh, we are launching in quarter three 2017 in Belgium, Netherlands, and in Poland, our home markets. Uh, then we are targeting some other uh, European Union markets. Um, Spain, UK is only on uh, also on the roadmap. How do you find the competition on this market? Whom do you consider as your competitor? So we can split the competitors into three different groups. Obviously, we have like um, big markets, Gorilla, so the well-established banks with the big portfolios. Uh, we have some uh, banks which are perceived as very innovative, specifically in the SME space. And we have all those fintechs, which are really ambitious and they are providing like a fresh breeze for uh, for the market. We're in the third group, uh, definitely. Uh, and we believe we have a space for our services and we have a very uh, detailed um, customer acquisition target and strategy for that. So um, in terms of the fintech, uh, there are at least five or six SME-oriented uh, banks that I know in, in UK, which are starting now. Um, there are three, let's say, four banks in Germany, which, which are also targeting SMEs. Uh, definitely we will be the first fintech bank in Poland uh, and one of the few, really few in European Union with the European Union-wide offering. Mm-hmm. And what will be your unique competitive advantage? So we have three major advantages. So the first one is we are focused on the teams, not only the single account owner, but we are focused on helping those SMEs to collaborate with their team members, employees, accountants. So just to save time, just to make it really fast and, um, and um, you know, avoid any, 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 any unnecessary Efficient. workload on the daily basis. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's the first one. So we are just about the collaboration. Second, uh, the core element of what we do, the core element of the platform is the what we call smart analytics. So we have a uh, machine learning engine. We have uh, a lot of um, algorithms we, d- we designed and deployed, which are looking at your data on the daily basis um, and provide you with the with the assistance and provide you with uh, some recommendations about, for example, your financial liquidity. So we are not just visualizing what's happening with your business. We also help you to understand uh, what, what is the risk of losing the liquidity in the near or, or longer longer time horizon. We also help you to uh, use the products that actually will help you, like a factoring, invoice discounting or, or credits. So that's actually uh, the role of the system to be smart, to be insightful, and the third, but uh, also very important, is to be personal, which means that we are asking our users about f- few questions about their business, their business model, the industry they are come from, and then we are personalizing, we are customizing the functionalities, we are customizing the user interface, really to deliver the relevant functions in scope and in the context of what they do and what the business is. Mm-hmm. So you are saying you are like a platform or a hub for SME customers with a set of uh, products. Yeah. So what? which products do you have already on your platform and which one are yours 
developed by you and and which one are from from a sort integrated from the third parties so um, we are partnering with um, with Solaris Bank AG mm-hmm. uh, which provide us with um, basic products like a business current account okay a mastercard is very soon will be available as well business mastercard uh, we also have uh, some products related to cash flow management and we are integrating with um, providers of uh, SME lending SME factoring uh, investment products are also on the roadmap for 2017 so basically our goal is to build a platform where we give a choice to to the to the customer uh, to How do I want to transfer my money? How do I want to collect my money? So we have two partners which are providing the point of sale equipment and the, and the services there. Uh, how do I invest my money? Everything on the one single platform with really, really best in class user experience. Mm-hmm. I see. And what will be your business model? How you will earn? So... Uh, First of all, it will be transparent, and it's quite a popular uh, word at this moment. But um, we will be charging user in very, uh, very simple approach. So we have a monthly fee, which covers um, basic, uh, basic, uh, basic financial products together with some uh, value-added services. Uh, if you are using more services, so you are for example uh, aggregating more of the accounts from other banks as well you will pay a little bit more uh, this is incremental price on top of it we also working which is not available now we are also working on uh, like a premium plan where you will have more services included uh, with a flat monthly fee uh, some services will be available for free Uh, forever so it's not just the trial period we will provide some services uh, for free for our users that will register on the platform mm-hmm. okay so let's assume that i'm an entrepreneur in belgium and i would like to open an account with you so first what is what is the process of onboarding what which documents are needed from my side and actually how many i will pay if in, i don't know i have 10 transactions a month so how many i will pay um The onboarding process, first of all, is fully digital. So you can do it from your uh, from your home, uh, even 10, 10 p.m., wh- whenever you want. Uh, it's fully digital. It depends on what kind of business you are. If you are a sole trader, uh, so it's a personal business, you will go with us through the few questions on, on our onboarding process. So tell us what... Tell us something about your business. Give us your tax identification number. Then we will invite you for very simple video uh, KYC process. So you need to show us your ID to to someone who's sitting okay. uh, behind. This is like a simple let's get, let's call it like a Skype call. Uh, and two three minutes later, we will open the account for you, and you can start using your service. Um, immediately after, we will all, all uh, will also issue the card, which will be delivered via post within uh, three uh, working days. That's basically mm-hmm. the process. So, uh, from entering our website till having account that you can use and making a transfer, uh, it's just a matter of a couple minutes. If you are a bigger business, uh, the process is a little bit more complex because we need to check um, your company, who's the uh, legal representative, who are the beneficiary uh, owners. But I think, but still, this is fully, fully digital process. You will upload the document um, available in the public registries mm-hmm. or the document about your company. Uh, our partner will check this document. Will invite. Uh, one or two depends on your your legal structure people t- for a KYC process and again in when within a couple minutes you will have your open uh, you will have your account open for for a business purposes mm-hmm. okay and the available currency now is euro euro only right at this moment it's euro and we are targeting uh, quarter free with Polish Zloty as well okay. so we will be a, uh, will be operating with this currency as well mm-hmm. um Next on the robot, but not this year, is obviously uh, pound sterling. Mm-hmm. Okay, and so how how much does I pay? <laughs> Do I pay for it? Uh, so basically, uh, once you will register to the platform, you have a choice not to open the account even. So you can use some of the services, fintech services, which are there uh, for free. Mm-hmm. Um, then 
we'll try to convince you to open the the, the bank account to, to to go with us and uh, you will pay depends on the on the, on, the, on the market but you will pay something around seven to up to eight euro a month for a full package so you will have a basic services you will have a mastercard but also you will have some value added services like account aggregation cash flow management expense management everything included into into the plan no mm -hmm. surprises no hidden fees everything with a single uh, single monthly fee great are you a web-based bank and are you gonna be mobile or not how do you plan actually we are both mm -hmm. so uh, first of all uh, we have a, we have a web application um, which works fine on, um, on on your laptop or on your iPad even on your phone so it's fully responsive uh, and we have a mobile app but um, we when we designed the mobile app we didn't just copy the functionality of the web to the mobile okay. because we treat mobile device as a your personal business assistant so we will send you the notification we will uh, allow you to make some actions make some decision uh, just on your mobile phone look at the key kpis look at your daily financial agenda and then once you you would like to do some planning look at your financial liquidity I still believe that the web browser on your laptop will be much, much easier, much faster. Mm -hmm. So we are not just focused on the mobile. Our primary channel is still web and the mobile is, uh, sp it plays a very specific role of your personal assistance. You have an AI boat included into this and uh, this really helps you when you are on the go. But if you want to plan, if you want to manage your finances, if you want to issue the invoice, I still believe it's much com much more comfortable to do it online with your laptop mm -hmm. rather than mobile phone. And uh, how many customers do you have already at, at this stage and, and what is your target so till the uh, end of this year after after the launch? Yeah, so as I said, in quarter three, we will be starting on, on three different markets. Yeah. Uh, we are now you're testing with some customers? Yes, we have mm -hmm. uh, something like 150 beta testing companies and we have, a, we have a queue of the different companies which already ask us to, to be okay. invited for the next beta, beta phase. Um, what is also important, we are not just targeting uh, the micro businesses, sole traders or freelancers. Um, the, the main value we are delivering, it's, uh, it's for the team of 5, That's 10, great. 15 people working together as a company where they can collaborate, where they can uh, manage their personal and project budgets. This is not just the Retail Plus application for freelancers. It's yes, really, this is great. This is it's really, really something that helps the small companies to manage how they collaborate, how they are managing their finances, personal project expenses, everything in one single place. Krzysztof, so what is, what is your uh, technical part uh, of, of your bank? So are you cloud-based uh, platform? Yes, we are cloud-based. We decided to go fully with the Microsoft, the Microsoft Azure cloud. Um, so we are using this to build a scalable and um, and a secure uh, secure bank. We are also using some more advanced mechanisms. So, for example, our uh, smart data engine is based on Cortana machine learning engine. Uh, we are using it to understand your transactional data, to understand uh, other other information we can we can grab about your business and provide you with really insightful view and uh, some recommendations on it. Um, so we are fully, fully, fully based on cloud. Uh, when we are working with the banks, there are some scenarios where we can also deploy on premise. But the bank app as a service, mm -hmm. the bank app as a bank is fully based on mm -hmm. Windows Azure cloud. And coming back to the to the banking license, do you plan to get it your own in the future or not? Um, never say never. Uh, uh, at this moment, not. We do not plan it. We have a great partner, which is Solaris Bank, which uh, actually takes a little bit out of us the the, the reg some of the regulations, some of the uh, some of the compliance compliance elements, which allows us to be really focused on great product, on the good technology, on the ra rather providing the business value proposition for SMEs. Uh, if we will go with uh, and we'll expand the business to other countries, maybe, but at this moment, definitely for 2017 and I believe for 2018, uh, we don't have such a plan. 
and we are really okay. we, we are really glad to work with the with the partner that's Solaris and actually we started the same, almost the same time they started with their banking license we started looking for how we can disrupt the SME banking so yeah, I think great we are cooperation. building a glo- uh, great 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 company mm-hmm. great uh, great combination there so tell us a little bit about your investors so you are registered in Belgium right so who are, why the Belgium why Belgium and, and who are the investors actually we don't have we do not have any investor yet we are just co-founding it with the, with the partners and uh, why in Belgium because uh, we are uh, we are a We are a team of Belgium colleagues, which are based in uh, in in Conti in Antwerp, near Antwerp, um, we, and we are we have a team in Poland. So we are just working together. We are founding partners together. The team in Belgium is more like a business oriented. This is the team of ex consultants, really specialized in uh, in uh, in a digital business. Uh, in Poland, we have. Um, team which is working on the product IT and um, and uh, analytics uh, and we are at this moment co-founding co-founding bank app uh, we also started after the finovate three weeks ago already uh, we started to look more actively for a pre-series a investor and uh, how many people count your team at the moment both in Belgium and Poland um, So we have a pool of people, especially in Belgium, because uh, our funding partner is Hedera Consulting, which is okay. the team of uh, around 50 people, 50 consultants, which are working on different projects. So we have a pool of really, really smart people that uh, that, that are helping us. Uh, in Poland, we have something around 12 to 15 people, depends, because we are just growing extremely fast. Sometimes I don't know if I will be back to the office today, if there is still a place for me there. <laughs> Um, and uh, I heard that uh, you were actually presented at Finovate that one of your distribution strategy will be uh, direct to banks as a platform. Is it right? And yes, I, it is. Are you, are you ready to to integrate with traditional banks and and on which services? If yes. Yes, it is. Uh, so um, basically, what we are focused on is the platform. So our ambition is to have the best. SME digital banking platform on the market and we are using this platform in two different ways so we are building bank app as our own use case our own brand when we will be delivering the uh, business banking services for European Union SMEs but at the same time we are open to to discuss and to to call to work with the banks existing banks um, how we can help them to differentiate their offering on um, for their uh, their SME customers so it's it's another use case of the of the platform that we designed that we we are implementing um if we are ready yes because by the design the platform is let's call it enterprise ready we have an experience um i'm it architect from my background we have an experience how to build the application which are scalable which are uh, which provides a proper level of security how to integrate this with um, you know core banking systems so yes we're ready and we are already in the process of of, of working uh, working with the banks Super. So, Krzysztof, tell us a little bit about you. So, what is your path in, in, at BankUp uh, and, and what is your role in BankUp? This is your first fintech uh, bank and... Okay, so yes. I, yes, this is my first fintech bank, but it's not my first fintech company. Um, I'm a CEO and uh, I'm one of the directors of, uh, of BankUp, uh, together with my colleague Philippe Lahey. Um, And my role is basically related to building the operational model. So uh, building the model where we are teaming up with Solaris, where we are integrating with different fintech partners, go-to-market strategy. Um, so that's basically my role. Um, and my background is I'm IT architect, I'm engineer. Uh, I spent a couple of years working for Accenture. Uh, for the financial sector projects, um, different implementations. Um, I was a chief security officer for AXA in C region for a while. Uh, and then I started uh, two of my uh, fintech companies, one company which is specialized in uh, uh, operational risk management and business continuity. So the, uh, we developed the platform which is used by banks as well. Uh, and then uh, I was also involved in a, in a BFM business finance management implementation when we were working with the banks as well. Mm-hmm. Interesting, great. 
what is your maybe the most difficult challenge at the moment at Bank Up at this stage? Um, obviously, there are a few challenges. The first one is, and I think it's not surprising, uh, it's uh, to build the proper customer acquisition model. Okay, because we know that SME market is underserved. We know it, but at the same time, it's not so much easy to convince the SME customer to switch to other bank. They are not really willing to switch. So uh, we are working on a very, um, um, let's say, very new, very innovative model, how we will attract the SME customers. So we are focused on the micro segments. Uh, so we want to be a partner for the companies where we understand their business. So we have a very dedicated um, a value proposition for real estates, for retailers, for technology company, for lawyers. And for each of these segments, we have a people which understand the industry. They are with this industry for a couple of years and um, they help us to build a value proposition and kind of evangelize um, how the SME banking can look like for, for, for this particular group of SMEs. So that's, that's one of the things. Uh, second, obviously, is compliance. Uh, even if we are, we, if we don't have our own full banking license, uh, there are a lot of different compliance rules that we need to fulfill, nice. including security, including data protection. But that's that's uh, that's very important element. Uh, and the third uh, is to is to actually build the win-win solution for our fintech partners. Okay, to build a scale. And to provide the value, which is which is which is great for the, our SME customers. Mm -hmm. What will be your main marketing channel for customer acquisition? Um, so two marketing channels. The first one is obviously online, and the second is via our champions. So uh, as I said before, we have those people which are specialized in a particular micro segment of SMEs. And those people are telling us, okay, this is the uh, this is the event that we should go, where we can present how BankUp can help those SMEs within their particular needs. Uh, there is a there is like a magazine or there is a like an online website where you, where you can advertise, and our goal is to do it really contextual and really speak the same language as our SME customers are are speaking. So that's one of the channel. Uh, it can be both online and offline, so we are we are just working in this in this approach. Mm -hmm. And do you have an aggressive target for customer acquisition till the end of this year? So, will be I don't know one thousand customers, ten thousand customers. How many do you plan to to acquire? Yeah. So uh, yeah, definitely yes. And I think that um, f it's more than. 1,000 for sure this year, uh, definitely it's more, um, but uh, it's less than 10,000, I would okay. say. Uh, but it, the plan is aggressive, but at the same time, I think it's quite realistic. So we know that, uh, first of all, the first 100, 200 customers that we're already working with uh, are based on our relations, sometimes friends and family. Uh, but now we are just implementing the full customer acquisition strategy with the full marketing approach. And this should really provide us with the results, which are a little bit above 1,000, as you said. Okay, thanks a lot, Krzysztof, for your conversation today. And I'm wishing you the very best of luck with your launch. And we'll happy to talk to you later. So okay, thank you. thank you very much. Um, it was great talking to you today. And um, I will keep you updated.